You are in going to be in the upcoming movie Alien Covenant. Is that yes, correct? Yes, yes, yeah. And what's kind of cool about that, I mean, it's a cool gig anyway, but you were a big fan of the Alien movies, which makes this an even bigger deal. How'd this all happen? It, it was a, uh, yeah, it was incredible. You know, like, I've always been a fan of, of, of the films, and, uh, yeah, I, at, the beginning of the at the beginning of, I guess, end of last year, I got a call that Ridley Scott wanted to meet me, and I had no idea what it was for. I'm a humongous fan of his. He directed the original Alien. And I went into his office to meet with him, and I wasn't sure what it was about. And about halfway through the conversation, he starts showing me these sketches of spaceships and aliens. And I'm just like, oh my God, this is about Alien. He's, in, he's brought me in here about Alien. And when it was over, he didn't offer me the role or anything. It was just sort of like, <laughs> to meet, meet with me about it. And so I, I didn't really know what it was. Like, I don't know if he just like, heard I was a fan and he was testing out the material to see if I thought it was cool or not. <laughs> What do, so what, what do you think of this spaceship? That's pretty cool. Oh, thank you. Well, like, oh, that's a, cool, <laughs> that's a cool spaceship. It's the moon, you idiot. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, he's just suddenly screwing with you. I don't want you to give anything away, but uh, the experience of shooting the movie, is it, is it incredible? It's incredible. It's also the very first time I've been in a movie where people, like, die in it. So it's like you start <laughs> the film at these dinners with, like, humongous, like, a big cast. All these people are there. And then every week, it's just like the table gets smaller and smaller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like <laughs> Game of Thrones dinners. Yeah. So let's all meet back next week. Oh, no. <laughs> Now, you've always been a big film buff. You were a film buff growing up as a kid. I was, you know, and, and, and funny enough, even with, uh, with Aliens, it's like we would go on Friday nights to the video store, things that don't exist anymore. Right. And, uh, and I would always, this is young, like, you know, I was like in elementary school, I would always go for the rated R films, and I would just kind of like slide them in the last minute when my parents were checking out. And then what I would do is I would get up very early Saturday morning before they were up to watch them. Right. And, uh, and I actually did that with Aliens. I got up very early Saturday morning, I put it on, and then my mom wakes up early, starts making breakfast, and she's there, and I'm just like, oh, this is not gonna fly. And uh, I'm But she can't it. see the screen. She can't see the screen, but she can hear what's happening. Right. And, uh, and at one point, she's like, what is this that you're watching? You know, if they curse one more time, this is going off. We're not gonna, we're not gonna sit here and listen to this. And I'm like, okay, yeah, whatever. And then Bill Paxton comes on with that, like, epic monologue about game over, game over. He drops the F-bomb, like, 30 times. For 30 <laughs> times. <laughs> and needless to say, it was like, I had to shut the movie off, and I never saw what happened to Newt or Ridley for 10 years after yeah. he took a long time before. <laughs>